Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for October, so this could happen at any time in October. Keep in mind that this reading may not be for you, it may not resonate at all. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So, oh, I think you guys had this one last time, it just fell out. Wealth. So there's something to do with your money. You're going to be something to do with your wealth is going to be a focus. Your prosperity, your wealth, your abundance, your money is going to be a focus in October. Maybe you're going to see an increase. I don't know. I think we had this before. We're talking about October. Okay. Now we're talking about October. So what do we have for Leo? Here we go. We got a few. We're going to have to take them. I think there's five or... Yeah, there's five. Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. So you got to look before you leap. You're going to have to look before you leap because, you know, you could get yourself into a dangerous situation if you don't. So look. Don't jump. <laughs> look before you leap. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So there's been a period of indecisiveness. Your, obviously, your life has been rambling aimlessly. Wheel, mm, or, uh, that was wheel. This one's well. Okay, so wishing well. It says family wishes come true. So there's some sort of family wish that is coming true. Interesting. Ooh, coins. Money will be coming to you right next to this wealth card. So there's, uh, you're going to be getting some money. You are going to be getting an increase of uh, money in October, maybe from a family member. Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So you're also dealing with a mule. I mean, you're a fixed sign, so you know maybe you need to make a change. I'm just being honest. Don't get all upset. Um, Leos are very stubborn, okay, because you're fixed energy. You could also be dealing with somebody else. I'm sure it's really easy to point the finger at somebody else. It's super easy to do that. Anyhow, look before you leap. Okay, do not jump. You're going to be in a situation where it needs careful handling. There's going to be an increase of money. That increase of money is coming. A wish of yours is going to be coming true. Your life has been rambling aimlessly, but obviously when I see the wheel, I think of the wheel of fortune. You know, there's definitely some fortune here. It's interesting because the way I laid them out, I got the wheel, the wealth, and the coins. So they're in the in wheel of fortune. Coins are fortune. So there's there's definitely something happening in your favor. It's very positive. Wheel of fortune is also good luck. So there's some good luck. I, there's a cat out there, which I'm... Uh... Oh, she's in here. Anyhow, um, she's probably going to come up here. But anyhow, um, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Wheel of Fortune, going in a new direction, very positive change. Luck is on your side. This is a, a fortunate event, a fortunate change. Something good is coming your way. Can't say much more about that. A wish is coming true. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Doesn't have to be, but something or something could have happened in June or the end of May that's going to be happening now during Gemini season. Let's get one more. Ooh, we have a liar here. So there is a liar. You got somebody here that isn't telling the truth. Liar, liar, pants on fire. So you're going to be dealing with a liar. Could be a two-faced individual. Be careful. All right. Be careful. There is be careful. Be careful. Okay. You also have a deep spiritual connection here. So, hmm. Very interesting. 
Let's get one of these. What do we have for Leo? There's good, you're going to be receiving some sort of communication that you don't expect. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So you need to have faith and trust in some sort of connection. Somebody's not telling the truth. They're not. Hmm. What do we have for Leo? I mean, there is a deep spiritual connection here. If you think about Gemini, I mean, Gemini represents the lover's card, which is a deep spiritual connection, unexpected choice in love. You're deepening a bond with somebody. I feel like we have a soulmate connection here with that spiritual connection. You're going to be in this, I don't know, we already talked about this in the, in the September reading about uh, money. Somebody has money or they have stability or something like that. That's your card. So you're going to be right in your element. You're going to be right in your glory. I feel like your hard work is paying off. Whatever it is, somebody sees your beauty. They see your your gentle grace. You know, they see your uh, confidence and your willpower. Um, there's something about you that is attracting them. You're looking very attractive at this time. You have a lot to be proud of. You're going to have to be brave and you need to master your raw emotions and don't try to force things. Just be gentle. Do not try to force anything. Nothing. What do we have for Leo? You have a lot to be proud of, but there's you need to let go of your fear and be brave. You need to be brave. There is some sort of soulmate connection here or partnership that you're going to be partnering up with. King of Swords reverse could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know if there's some, you may, could be dealing with some legal issues as well. You're dealing with somebody that's not telling the truth. That's for darn sure. Then they may not be communicating. They may be feeling, they may be cold. There could, let me just get the rest of the cards. I'm going to get another one for that. Empress. the cards here. Ooh. We have two people that are not seeing eye to eye together uh, with each other. We have the Queen of Swords reversed and the King of Swords reversed. There's a lack of communication. There's miscommunication. There's power struggles. We have a feminine energy here who is in knowing her value. You know, she's very loving. She is... Uh, a goddess, she's a domestic goddess, she knows her value, she's beautiful, she's glowing. Um, this is the birth, this is a new baby. Um, giving birth, giving birth, it's absolutely beautiful. There's romance in the air. Somebody's not telling the truth or not telling the truth. Could be about a mother, could be about their mother or the mother of their child. They're not telling the truth. Somebody's not telling the truth about the mother of their children or the mother or about this empress. They're hiding something. There is an empress here. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. It could also be you. But it typically, rep it could be represent anybody. But this is the this is somebody that's there. I feel like there's a it's a very sexual energy. It's a very I mean take a look at that. It's very sensual. It's very uh, this is kind of like. Uh, I don't know, it's maybe even voluptuous, you know what I mean? It's it fe <laughs> very beautiful energy. And somebody's not telling the truth. It's with the King of Swords reversed. They're withholding. They're withholding. They're lying. You're dealing with a liar here. 
somebody is dealing with an empress and it, it's a, it's either it's either their mother or the mother of their children or it's another woman who uh, they're hiding they're not telling you about because there's there's it's hidden with the king of swords reversed they're keeping quiet they're lying about something I feel like right now, uh, in your energy, we have temperance reversed, the ace of wands, the queen of swords reversed. There's bitterness, there's there's anger, there's resentment. You probably don't want to be alone. I feel like there's 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 anger here. There's uh, I feel like you're dealing with a bitch. There's a bitch that uh, is wrecking havoc on your life and it's causing you some sort of resent. You may be angry, you may be upset, there's jealousy, it could be an ex, okay? There's an ex here, or it's somebody that um, isn't telling the truth, they're not telling the truth if, about somebody that they're, I don't know if they're having sex with this person or what the case is. There's definitely dishonesty, there's a neg, there's a, uh, inappropriate behavior with the temperance reverse you may be upset i feel like you need to master your emotions you're going to need to manage your feelings yeah i feel like you're going to be upset i feel like you're i feel like you're you're you've been trying to get something to grow with an individual, I don't know if it's an ex, or if it's somebody that you've you you know you've had some sort of ups and downs with. You've been on a roller coaster with this person, like you've been with them, you broke up with them, you've been with them, you broke up with them. That's the roller coaster with the temperance reverse. You've been on a roller coaster ride with this person, and maybe you know there's some sort of desire to uh, have a reunion or rekindle, and this person isn't interested or you're not interested there's definitely repeating negative patterns uh, not things not going well with temperance reversed feeling emotionally upset unable I feel like you're, you're gonna be all over the place this is this is not going well there's something that's not going well I feel like there's a woman here that is causing you problems. This room, this woman is uh, either the mother of the children or she is a mother. She could be the person's mother or she's just very sensual, very sexual, very um, desirable. She may be alluring. She may be luring somebody in in a, in a sexual manner. Definitely a very sexual energy. Ace of Wands. Then that Empress, which I showed you. And on the other side is the Devil. So there's lust. There's sexual desires here. There's, a, there's planting seeds. There could even be a pregnancy here. Somebody could end up getting pregnant with the Ace of Wands and the Empress. There could be news of a child, news of a baby that makes you, you know, not happy. I mean, in your energy, we have the Temperance Reverse and Queen of Swords Reverse. That is very upset, you know, all over the place. Because I feel like you've been on this roller coaster ride with this individual who lies a lot. You know, this person is, it could be definitely a, a liar, I mean, a pathological liar. And something is definitely off with the temperance reverse. There's some sort of inconsistency here. Um, there's a need to re-examine who you're dealing with. I feel like you haven't been logical or honest with yourself. Queen of Swords reverse, that's in, dishonest with yourself not and definitely not being logical. I feel like there's somebody here that has some addictions. I don't know if it's a sexual addiction, you know, and things aren't going in the right way direction for that for that situation so i feel like we have somebody there that's having sex with somebody else and they're hiding it 
Uh, and that's not going to be for everybody, okay? I also feel like some of you are going to be upset ab about a pregnancy. It could be an unplanned pregnancy, okay? We also have the mother of the children that's causing problems or the, some sort of, or it's an ex-wife or an ex or an ex. There's an ex here that is causing problems. Somebody's going overboard and they're engaging in negative patterns and it's uh, in a lustful manner, put it that way. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Libra and Taurus, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, whoever you are dealing with, whoever you are dealing with has no interest with Page of Pentacles reverse, the Devil reverse, and the Hermit reverse. This is a rejection, okay? This person has no interest in um, completing the task. They are not interested in commitment. They are, this could be a player. This person has a wandering eye. They uh, are very looking for instant gratification. They need constant attention. They have lost their focus. They are not interested in anything. It feels like sex. You're dealing with somebody who is just looking for sex. And I feel like you're having a hard time accepting the truth about it. It's like you don't want to accept the truth about it. And I know that we're talking about we have wealth over here and coins. Maybe you need to focus on your money. You need to focus on your wealth. I feel like you, you know, if you think about the lovers, there's another option. There's another choice. Um, I do believe there's a rejection here. We also have Virgo. There's a rejection. Somebody, somebody may be going, getting a, a rejection because they don't want to give up their independence. That I feel like we have somebody here that doesn't want to be in a commitment. You're probably going to be getting some news or some information that you don't want to hear. You know, it feels like you're trying to uh, get somebody to see things from a new perspective and they're refusing to. It's like you've been planting seeds and you have this strong desire to, to reunite or to be with this person, but this person isn't... They're not interested. They're not interested. They're, they're, they, maybe they're focusing on their money. They're focusing on everything but a relationship right now. Maybe they just want, you know, uh, maybe they're going through a period of growth. They're going through a period of, of rebirth. And, you know, they're not on the same page. You're not on the same page with somebody. You're going to need to restrain yourself. You're going to need to... Uh, Take a time out to reflect because I feel like there's a rejection here. I just got to be honest with the Hermit Reverse. That's like a rejection. I feel like we have somebody also that is has been uh, hiding. They've been hiding, uh, not putting in any effort. Um, you know, hiding behind the scenes. They may... Uh, they're, they're very, very attracted to you. This person's going to be the one that's reaching out to you. It's somebody different. You have two options here. You absolutely do. Whew. Somebody has a strong desire to uh, connect with you. This person has not been communicating, so you are going to receive communication from that person. But I feel like you are trying to get together with, I feel like it's an ex or, or somebody that you have broken up with that you've been on a roller coaster ride with and this person is rejecting you and I feel like they're rejecting you because I feel like I feel like they are engaging in something else that's why they're not interested I, they may be you know uh, having sex with somebody else they're not so if you're it's like you're in a huge freaking love triangle of some sort whoever you're dealing with has no interest in going down that path anymore Page of Pentacles reverse. Somebody here, your your person, Page of Pentacles reverse. That's I'm not interested. This is giving up. It's quitting. It, this person has a wandering eye. They they don't have integrity. They don't plan on a following through with anything. They give up when the when the going gets rough. And whoever you're dealing with, they are in a place where you know they're engaging in in sexual. Uh, it's like a conquest of some sort. It is.
Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here quite a bit. Oh, King of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So not, not looking, not looking for commitment, not going to put in effort, not, not wanting it, not wanting to go down that path, wanting to be alone. Somebody doesn't want a commitment. You know, they're not interested. They're not interested. And I feel like, I feel like you're going to be, get some information, some challenging information, or you're going to receive some, you know, a message that honestly you don't want to hear. But I also feel like you're going through a period of growth. And I feel like you're about to give birth to a new life. This is actually a blessing, okay? Because the Empress gives birth to a blessing. Consider a ble rejection is protection. So you're going to be given. And I know you don't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. But, you know, I feel like there, there is a rejection here. But I feel like you're, you're going to go through a, a rebirth, okay? I feel like there's tender, loving care around the corner. I feel like there's somebody here that is very beautiful, that can nurture you, that can take care of you, that will be willing to do so. I'm not sure if you've communicated with this person yet because there's a lack of communication. Maybe there's fear. You know, maybe there's fear of communicating with this person because this person has so many options. Um, the Empress has multiple options. She's, she's the domestic goddess. You know, she's the uh, pick. She's the pick. She's the pick. Somebody, I feel like somebody's been hiding. They've been hiding their feelings for this empress, whoever, or they've been hiding this person from you. <clears throat> the world reverse next to the devil. No success, flogging a dead horse, staying stuck, staying stuck in the present, needing to move forward. This cycle needs to end. Somebody is in a toxic cycle. Unbelievable. It's a very toxic cycle, okay? It needs to end. I was clarifying that devil card. Devil is bound to something that is unhealthy. The world card reverse is... Uh, lack of will, frustration, refusing to explore new avenues, okay? Not learning from mistakes. So we have somebody here that's not learning from their mistakes. They keep repeating the same negative patterns over and over and over again. That's the temperance reversed. I feel like it's, and, and don't point the finger, please. I also feel like you're going to get some news that has to do with a mother. could also have to do with a father, mother, father. Maybe that's where you're getting the money from. There is abundance that is coming your way. There is money that is coming your way. It could be from a mother or a father. I don't know. I feel like it has to do with a mother or a father or a family member. That's where your money is coming from. could be an inheritance. You have somebody here that is very, very ill with that temperance reverse. They're unhealthy. It could be you. It's in your lineup. Maybe you're unhealthy. I don't know. Or it's your parent. could be your mother. could be your father. Um, there is somebody here that is very, very unhealthy. They're going to be going down a new path. You're going to be receiving news that you don't want to hear definitely. could be, I don't know. It could be, it's from a woman. It's probably about a woman could be from a man as well you're going to be receiving some challenging information put it that way with the king of swords reversed somebody may even be, been, be lying about their health you know um, this is giving up you're going to need time to go within and and heal healing's definitely going to be needed whatever is happening is pretty big somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye with the world card reversed just saying Could also have something to do with the child with that page of pentacles. There's toxic behavior here. There's addictions going overboard, going to extremes. You know, there could be. There could be a sudden ending. There could be. You're going to need strength. You're going to need perseverance. You're going to need willpower. You're going to need to take a time out.
an obstacle is being removed, Eight of Swords reversed on the bottom, letting go of emptiness, somebody's making an escape, somebody is escaping a situation, they don't want to be tied to it anymore. There is also obsession in addictions here. Somebody is very codependent. They don't want to be alone. There's something toxic that is going to be dealt with in October. Somebody's lost sight of their goals. They've lost their focus. I feel like we have an ending. It's a disaster. You know, we have somebody here that is very unhealthy. They're repeating, they're repeating unhealthy patterns. Rejection, being rejected, isolated. Somebody is isolating. They're isolating themselves. It's almost like I feel like we have somebody here that is is burying their feelings, you know, in some sort of addiction. There's a codependency here, and it's, it ends in disaster. This cycle, this toxic cycle needs to end, but repeating negative patterns over and over and over and over again. Somebody needs to learn their value. They need to become that empress. They do. They need to. They need to. But they're not being logical because there's codependency. I don't want to be alone. They're dealing with somebody that doesn't want commitment and there's failure to accept the truth. This person also has some serious addictions and there's denial here. Things are not getting better, okay? I think they're getting worse because there's a lack. There's it's, it's repeating, 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 repeating to the point where, you know, somebody's just, it, it could be even giving up, you know, feeling alone and giving up. Something is going on here. Money will be coming to you. Family wishes come true. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Somebody is extremely ch stubborn and unwilling to change. That's your whoever you're dealing with. This person ain't going to change. That King of Pentacles reverse, absolutely not. They're not going to change. They're lying. They're lying about their addictions. They're lying about who they're dealing with. You need to, if you know... If you have to release this person and you need to find your strength to let this person go, let go of your this obsession, then so be it. This month you're going to be going through, I feel like it's a painful birth, a painful, it's painful. The Empress gives birth to a new life, but it hurts, it's painful, it's a painful release. So yeah, I do think you're going to be going through a painful release. Somebody is, somebody is given up and I think that you're going to have to accept it and not going to like it. I also feel like you have a soulmate connection. Maybe you're the one that's giving up. I do feel like you have a soulmate connection here, but I feel like it's not with who you think it is. Maybe you received poor advice from a mother or a father who told you to hold on to somebody that is not even logical. This person that you're meant to be with is just about the same age. There's not a big age difference. That's misinformation. Good luck.